Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to another episode of Dishin with the Commish. Fantasy football playoff madness slash playoff preview edition. We are already here. The season has flown by as we all figured that it would, but it's the last week of the regular season. There's a lot on the line. I've never played in a league this big before, um, but I'm shocked to see how many people are still fighting for a playoff spot. We've got four places already decided with the commission himself wrapping up the number one seed. Uh, Lightning Bolts holding on to number two, but does need to hold off the Astapor Unix. A loss for the Lightning Bolts and a win for Astapor would make them flip-flop in the standings. Um, and then in the number four seed, we have Team Hatfield, who is the last person to, who has already punched his ticket, which remain, which means that four spots remain for the playoffs, and there's still seven people fighting for them. This is super awesome. I, for one, am stoked. I've been geeking out, nerding out, what, looking at the standings, thinking about the matchups and what's to come and what's going to lead to what. And it, it's fun. I, I hope, uh, I hope people are enjoying it even somewhat as much as I am, because then it's sort of definitely been a huge success. Um, so let's take a look at the standing, shall we? Let's see if I can get and turn my camera over. We got my wife, the lovely Fabby wife and Nader holding up the top at seven and six. Frankie, 909's finest, 7 and 6 right behind her. Of course, the only differential is how many points they have scored. Uh, Jimmy G's next injury also at 7 and 6. And my mom, who barely got a win last week, Panda Puff Girls also holding on at 7 and 6. But don't count those 7 and 6 teams to make it for sure because we got three teams that are 6 and 7 still jousting Rams 10 and 7 season and mover of chains and this is to me is one of the craziest parts oh this one's not showing it but all three of those teams have scored more points than any of the 7 and 6 teams so those guys would all have the advantage if they do win and any of the 7 and 6 teams lose which is just crazy so Definitely had a little bit of bad luck for still jousting Rams and mover of chains to have some of the highest scores. I think we did them. We took a look and actually I think all three of those teams have, have scored more than anybody except for, um, but they've all been high scores. So that throws an even bigger wrench into all this that if a six and seven team does win and a seven and six team does lose, it looks like a, that team that was seven and six this week will, We'll be going home with a loss if any of those six and seven teams win. So this is just madness, and and it's awesome. Um, let's take a look at let's take a look at the matchups. I've already kind of looked at a lot of this and get ready for this video, so I'm not just completely winging it here. But on top of all that craziness, none of the seven teams that are still in contention are even facing each other this weekend. They all are facing somebody else, so there's no guaranteed decision that will be from any individual game everything is going to be about for these seven teams you got to win and you got to hope to get some luck behind you um it's gonna be awesome uh let's take a look at who we got going on we got jimmy g's next injury facing chris hatfield should be a great one we have it looks like we have a a new name here, Bareback Broncos facing Rocky Mountain Girl. That's going to be the one game that does not have any um, playoff implications, sadly. From there, we got Rams 10 and 7 season, a 6 and 7 team facing Lightning Bolts. Uh, like I said, Rams, Rams uh, 7, 10 and 7 has been a little bit of an unlucky team, and Lightning Bolts has been a monster all season. Uh, we got my mom, Panda Puff Girls, facing my cousin, the Astapor Unix. Mover of Chain, 6 and 7, going against Lieutenant Dan. Team Enriquez, facing 909's Finest. 909's Finest is a 7 and 6 team, needs a win there to move on. And still jousting, 6 and 7, going against only Shans, 5 and 8. Kind of got a pretty close matchup. 
Still jousting, can put up a lot of points as we've seen. He's actually got the second most points in all of the league. But people have been scoring on him like crazy, so he's been pretty unlucky. So we'll see uh, We'll see if he's able to get that big win that he needs this weekend. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty nuts, and yeah, I'm just super excited for it. I hope I'm hoping for the best for all you guys. I've already put in, I already talked to the wifey. You guys got scouts on her. I'm putting in my best lineup. It's only what's fair for the league. Everyone else has gotten my best shot so far this season, so she's gonna have to work for it. And if she does not beat me, she's gonna need some help from the rest of the league. A lot of people are. Are gonna need some help. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. I'll try to do uh, another one for the playoffs, either once the once we're all set, or maybe after the first week. But uh, just a quick reminder: eight teams are going. No bye weeks for anybody. You got to win to move on. Should be uh, should be pretty damn good. These injuries keep piling up in the NFL. It's moving quick. We'll hope for the best. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you all have a great night. Glad to catch up with everybody. Good luck this weekend. Set your best lineups. Give it everything you got. And hope for the best. All right. Much love, everyone. Have a great... Uh, I'm sure I'll talk to you guys before, but a great holiday season coming up. But first off, good luck making the playoffs. Adios.